Hello everyone, this is Jason and C from Game Frenzy to teach you how to install the Aether mod. I mean, it may seem easy, but it's a little bit complicated as I actually had problems installing this. What the Aether is, it's basically the opposite of the Nether. It's up in the air instead of underground, so let's get started. First of all, you want to down download Mod Loader, Audi Mod, and Shaka PI. But for Shaka PI, there's a catch. You don't want to install... Uh... R4, you want to install install R5, so make sure you click the top download link. So if you install R4, then you will get saving chunks error, which will black screen, and you will be screwed. So do not download R4, please. It will make your life a lot easier. That is what I had a problem with, and I figured it out, and yeah, my life was a lot happier once that happens. So install that, and mod loader, audio mod, and R5 shotgun PI. And the either mod download. Once you have that all downloaded, save it to your desktop. And I have all of that in my either mod folder. So these are all the mods you need. So once you have all those, click start, go to run, T type in percent app data percent. You will type that in in the search bar for Windows 7 and click on roaming. And for Windows XP, just do what I just did. Now click on dot Minecraft. Go to bin. Right click minecraft.jar. And if you have uh, one more, just open it with one more. I'm going to use 7zip. So open it with the, whatever you're going to use. I will have both downloads for both of those in the description. I will have the form links in the description too, so don't worry about that. Now I'm going to open Audi Mod first. And one more thing. Before you start, make sure you delete meta.inf right away, or else the, that basically what that's doing is telling it to not allow mods, so obviously that's not going to work. This whole thing won't work if you don't delete that, so I'll copy and paste these in. Click yes. Open, open archive. Copy these in. This is for mod loader now. Click yes. Things like that. Now Shaka PI is a little bit different. What you want to do is go to bin, ignore the source and readme, go to bin, and drag and drop everything in. Make sure it's not going into the folders or else you will black screen and that's not good. And from there go to the Aether mod, click on jar. Do not drop drag and drop everything and just go to jar. And then in there, drag and drop everything in. Click yes. Exit this. Oh wait, don't exit that, sorry. Go to resources. And go to your... My, uh, dot .minecraft. And you should be in the index of everything for this folder. And where it says resources, drag and drop this in. Just wait. Uh, I'm gonna open this up with 7zip because it's a little bit easier. And now I'm gonna drag and drop resources in this .minecraft folder, and it will merge into that folder. So if you do it with 7zip, it's a little bit easier. I suggest doing it with 7zip. So now it's merged in there, and you're good. So you will not have the chunk error problem with this if you download the R5 one. Now I'm gonna uh, stop this and go to Fraps so I can show. Alright, so now I'm in Minecraft, and you should not get the saving chunks error, because you have R5, and not like all the other noobs who downloaded R4, like myself. So, yeah, once you're in, um, I have too many items. I have a tutorial for that, too, so make sure to check that out. You're going to need some glowstone, and a bucket of water. Bucket of water, bucket of water. Wait, Alright, well, yeah, now you get the point. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you and you don't get the same chunks error like I did. Five times in a row. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys.